I'm going to eat my strawberries. Now, welcome back to the show. <laughs> so good. Good morning, my dear students. Today I have a quick lesson, but first of all, for homework on the Harakiri video, I asked you all, what was the first Japanese word to be loaned into English? And the people who got it correct were... Congratulations! You all get to stay after class for detention. Huh? What? Detention is fun in my school. Anyway, the first Japanese word to find its way into English was tycoon, which comes from the Japanese tycoon, which means a great prince. In English, it's someone who is an important business person. Now, for today's lesson, it's a quick one. Exabella Lava for Ya Exo wanted to know the origin of the word strawberry, as she said it doesn't taste or look like straw, so why the name? Good question. Hot for words decided to investigate. <music> Strawberries are named as such not because they are battered in straw to help them grow. Not true. But most likely due to the way that they seem to grow. If you look at the way strawberries grow in the field, they tend to stray or be strewn all over the field. The straw comes from the strewn, the way in which they grow. Another theory is that on the surface of the strawberry are little yellow seeds that look like straw. But the first example is my preferred origin. And there you go, another mystery solved by your trusty Hat for Words. For your homework, what is your favorite berry? Mine are blueberries as they are supposed to make you smart. And by the way, if you'd like to request a word, please go to my website hatsforwords.com and Request the word there. I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye, my students. Anyway, the first Japanese word to find its way into English was tukun. Huh?